What's going on there guys? Earthmaster here checking in real quick on this Wednesday evening, March 3rd, 2021, 8.17 p.m. Uh, West Coast time here in California with the latest quake out there around the Oklahoma region, including some uptick off the uh, right around the Japan area as well. Along the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire, 4.4 kicking off out there in that region of the world. Of course, the uh, big story is a pretty good sized earthquake out there around the Greece region. 6.3 earthquake striking early this morning. Quite a few aftershocks and whatnot taking place with the largest one looks to be a 5.3 within that cluster of aftershocks. And I'm sure there's many, many more earthquakes happening, uh, just not being picked up there on the USGS map. Uh, a lot of folks talking about uh, the potential swarming of earthquakes off the coast of, uh, well, not off the coast, specifically right around the uh, southwestern part of Iceland. We don't see much activity on this map because they just don't show, uh, the USGS just, just doesn't show um, uh, anything below 4.0. And there's definitely a lot more going on out there uh, following that, uh, oh, that good sized earthquake out there a, a couple days ago. Of course, they've been having uh, um, quite the swarm within this vicinity of Iceland. There is a volcano over there. I do kind of want to show you guys exactly a little bit of. Uh, uh, activity that they're talking about here. A couple articles I've seen on IcelandReview.com. Um, it looks like Rick Janes. Is that correct? Probably not. Uh, but anyway, magma accumulation suspected eru eruption a possibility. This, w this article was put out uh, just yesterday. They talk about uh, some new data coming in uh, about the uh, potential earthquake swarm and uh, magma intrusion that uh, suggest um, Underneath the uh, this specific mountain right there, I'm not going to read that off. That's a hard one for me. Um, and there is a slight chance uh, that the earthquake swarm could lead to a volcanic eruption, but is not likely to be dangerous or threaten inhabited areas. Uh, they talk a little bit about the earthquake swarm that's been ongoing. A couple scenarios to discuss there. Uh, the seismic unrest will die down in the next few days or weeks. The seismic unrest will pick up. Uh, culminating in an earthquake up to magnitude 6 origi originating close to this area uh, the seismic unrest will pick up uh, is that the right word culminating in an earthquake up to 6.5 you see how they're kind of up, upping these magnitudes here there's always an increase for larger magnitudes when we see swarms like this uh, the magma intrusion continues close to this area but the activity dies down and the magma solidifies the magma intrusion continues, uh, culminating in a fissure eruption and lava flow that will likely not threaten inhabited areas. Uh, there's a couple other articles here I kind of want to show you guys. Uh, and it talks about the ongoing earthquake swarm. This was back from the first. Um, right now, the color aviation code is in the green, but the activity level for this specific region of uh, Iceland for the volcano is right around the moderate to what it looks like a uh, uh, last uh, significant eruption back in 1240 CE. You can see the earthquake swarm that was taking place out there. Uh, that's this area right here in that uh, specific area of, of uh, Iceland. It's, uh, you know, it's a good possibility that we could see something pick up. We'll have to keep a very close eye on it. There's a couple different scenarios, folks. The thing is to remember if these earthquakes continue uh, for quite some time or, or pick up in uh, magnitude and multitude, then we can pretty much assume that uh, we're looking at either a, a pretty significant larger earthquake in the region or indeed, uh, you know, some fissures opening up in the ground with lava, magma uh, protruding from those cracks. So just, just be on guard out there in the Iceland area. A lot of folks been wondering about it. Yes, it is volcanic related. And yes, uh, you know, there is a potential that uh, it could kick off a volcanic eruption. So there's a lot of art articles on this uh, right now. Uh, we'll keep you updated as, um, as I can. As uh, far as the rest of the globe goes, pretty quiet, folks. As far as the uh, major Pacific plate goes, not a whole lot of movement. Increase in earthquake up here around the Alaska region uh, also a little bit along the west coast but not a whole lot uh, just around the uh, looks like the Ridgecrest area northward in a linear fashion up towards the uh, Nevada Mina, Mina Nevada area as well 
uh, but no major swarms to report. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, some interesting activity taking place in the northeast, eastern part of the park. Something showed up there on all of the stations there. Now, to me, it looks like uh, it could be a localized earthquake or some type of event uh, potentially underground. Well, obviously, right? An earthquake underground. But um, I can't find the exact details to that. Uh, those couple signatures right there kind of... Uh, kind of been scratching my head with that one because it did show up on numerous stations here and uh, there is still a uh, somewhat of a swarm going on there on that station you can see those small spikes there indicating uh, earthquakes and lots of them they have calmed down within the last few hours so we'll continue to keep an eye on that as well folks stream is down currently I'm getting that back up and going some internet connectivity issues going on out here I don't know why uh, it just happens but uh, we will have the live stream back up and running here shortly. So uh, we'll chat at you guys then.